File nesting in VS Code's Explorer lets you group related files together under a single top-level entry. This can be useful for hiding derived files or just cleaning up the view of your workspace. Now in this example workspace, for instance, if we look at main.ts here, so this is just a normal TypeScript file, except for this little chevron over here, which makes it look more like a directory. Now this is indicating that this file actually has other files nested below it. And if we click on the chevron, we can expand those files out and see the list of nested files. So in this instance, we have the JavaScript files, main.js and main.min.js that are being nested below the TypeScript file. Now, the important things to note here is that we can interact with these files just like normal. So I can click on main.ts, I can click on main.js, and I can open those files, I can work with them just like I could with normal files in the Explorer. The other th important thing is that I have not changed the paths of any of these files. File nesting is only affecting how the files are displayed. All of these files are still at the top level of the workspace. Now, file nesting is not enabled by default currently, but it's quite easy to turn on. And then you can also customize it for your workflow and whatever language you're working in. To get started, I'm going to open up the settings with control comma or command comma on Mac and search for file nesting. Again, I've turned the file nesting setting on here, but if I turn it off for a moment, you can see what the structure of the workspace looks like by default. Once I turn it on, we'll go back to that nested structure that we were seeing before. The other setting I wanna mention is the file nesting pattern setting. And this is where you can go and customize how file nesting is going to behave. So there's a big explanation here that's talking about how you can configure things. If we actually look down at some of the patterns, you can see that for any TypeScript file, so here on the left, we see the file name that we're going to match. We're going to group any uh, JavaScript file with the same name under it. And if I wanted to add a new pattern here, I could just go in and say something like index.html as the top level file is going to have any CSS file under it. And now I was able to group the CSS file here under that index.html file. File nesting can be a great way to clean up your view of the current workspace, and it can also be really invaluable for hiding derived files that you don't need to look at as often. So that's a quick introduction to file nesting in VS Code's Explorer.